make a motion to approve. Oh. I just want to make a comment uh, on the uh, I'm not sure if the subdivision's on here or not for Paris. No, it's not on, Okay, never mind. Thank you. I'll make a motion to approve the Board of Supervisors meeting minutes from July 22nd, 2020 and the vacancy board meeting on July 28th, 2020. I'll second. Motion has been made and second. Any questions? All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, no. Motion carries. I'll make a motion to approve the departmental reports. I'll second. Motion has been made and second. Any questions? All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, no. Motion carries. I'll make a motion to authorize ratify the payment of bills and payroll for the month of August. I'll second. Motion has been made and second. Any questions? All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, no. Motion carries. I'll make a motion to for the presentation of the 2021 minimum municipal obligation for the township's two pension plans. I'll second that. Motion has been made and second. Any questions? All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, no. Motion carries. I'll make a motion for the presentation of the estimated cost for a code update between $2,160 and $2,750. This hasn't been done since 2018. I'll second that. Motion's been made and second. Any questions? i just make a comment. I did, uh, Darla was checking, this. I think that could be paid for out of Act 13. Yes. So that'll be paid for out of Act 13 money. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, no. Motion carries. I'll make a motion presentation to bid for the conversion of tennis court into a combination tennis slash pickleball court and also to for updates to the hockey court at a cost of $24,980 of which we receive fine money from range resource the amount of $21,293 and the balance will come out of the park and recs. Um, just further comment we contacted three people for bids two of them were non-responsive um, this is uh, going to be let's tennis and, uh, and they're going to do some crack repairs and resurfacing i'll second that motion has been made and second any other questions all in favor signify by saying aye aye, aye. opposed no motion carries darla will you contact uh, mr lutz tomorrow mm -hmm. thank you I'll make a motion that we approve the McLaughlin subdivision, which is gone through with all the approvals. We'll second that. Motion's been made and second. George, and everything is in line? Yes, sir. I need Mr. Orton to sign, too. Okay. Well, we can sign after the meeting. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, no. Motion carries. I'll make a motion to advertise the 2007 Peterbilt uh, dump truck on Municipid. I'll second that. Motion has been made and second. Any questions? Just for your, this was, we bought a truck uh, to replace this one. And it should be coming in September. It's going to be, yeah, it's coming in September. shortly, September. so we'll we start advertising this. Gary, do you want to put a minimum bid in, um, you know, like bids? have to be above whatever a thousand dollars you know what i mean uh, whatever yeah we'll have to maybe yeah maybe i'll I'll, uh, I'll amend that to uh put a minimum bid in after you talk to mickey and determine get minimum what it, bid what it should be yeah okay you'll still second it yep okay all in favor signify by saying aye aye, aye. aye. opposed no motion here Make a motion that we accept the resignation of Officer Ben Shaper. I'll second that. Motion's been made and second. I'll just read uh, Ben's letter to the Chief. I'd like to take this time to offer my resignation with Mount Pleasant Township Police Department. At this time, my obligations are creating scheduling conflicts or keeping me from working with the township. I am 
appreciative and grateful for the opportunity that you and the township afforded me. I hope that while I was an active member of the department, my performance exceeded your expectations and you would consider me for future employment if the opportunity presented itself. Thank you for your support and guidance throughout the service period. Motion has been made and second. Any questions? All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed no. Motion carries. I gotta, I gotta find something here. Here, look, George has it right there on the piece. Okay. Um, I move that the Board of Supervisors approve the settlement agreement between Diane Baylog and Mount Pleasant Township as presented. I'll second that. Motion has been made and second. Any questions? All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, no. Motion carries. In the past, <clears throat> we had, out of Act 13 money, we had given the uh, Avella Library, I think it was $500, right? I believe so, yes. A uh, $500 donation, and they've requested that again. Um, I'll make a motion to take out of Act 13 money a donation of $500 to the Avella Library. I'll second that. Motion has been made and second. Any questions? All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, no. Motion carries. Okay, now we'll open up for general comments from the public. Please stand, state your name and your address. Brian Temple, 62 Baker Road. Um, I just happened to watch the August 5th Sir Authority meeting. Yeah. And wanted to bring it to your attention that, you know, now I guess the cost of the projects increased 68.7% from yes. the original cost. So it's $32.5 million now. <clears throat> yes. And back to when I was on the board, you know, God rest his soul, but I used to argue about the $19.2 million cost and 8.1 being in grants that I never thought they would get. With the cost of this now, thirty-two point five million. I mean, let's be real, realistic. It's it's not a project at that cost. It's not a project at that cost. Uh, uh, right now, there's some work being done on some other grants. Um, we're gonna see where it goes. And that's just as this board. I mean, whether whether you consider going back to the original idea of, of a package plan in either Southview taking it all gravity there. I mean, those package plans <coughs> last 35 years, as long as they're maintained. That's one of the other things. And then you build up income with the sewer authority, whether you do it in Southview or you do it in Westland, Westland. but we don't need that Taj Mahal project that no, this has been right. the whole time. And, and I will also projects. ask them to take a look at somehow if we could tie Hickory into Birdsell, which is right down here at the lake. Yeah. The other thing, too, is, I mean, I'm not sure if you're aware, but KLH was fired in Cecil. So Cecil's really not that far from tying in some of the Southview stuff. Paul had talked to them, and, and they didn't want to do it. That's when KLH was at both places. KLH uh, is gone now um, okay. in Cecil. And I know there's been That's discussions there about at least tying the people in Cecil and in Southview, if you go up and tell everybody on, what is it, the right, mm -hmm. that, you know, even if you relinquish the rights to Southview, you know, there's over, you know, just in Southview itself, there's 100 EDUs. Yeah. So that could help out. That could help out. But I, I didn't know KLH was going from there. Yeah. Okay. And I'm not sure who's there now, but I do know that they were advertising yeah, for the current cost that they're throwing out it's it's cost prohibitive yeah and that's I just wanted to bring it up to the board that I mean that cost yeah, I mean there's not enough money or there's and we kind of strung along for a long time on that original 20 million that they were throwing out and and then finally come up and says you know we really need to take a look at today's cost not 
what, four years ago? Six, yeah. six, 2016 was the 14 point, yeah. or I'm sorry, before that it was 14 and then they took it up to 19. Yeah. So, so yeah, that's. Okay. I just want to make so. sure we're not pursuing a 32 million. I mean, yeah. We couldn't afford that. There, there would be, people's sewers would be higher than their mortgage payments. Uh, you're probably right. In the area. Oh, you're right. About. You're right. That's all I have. Thanks, Brian. Anybody else? Anybody else got to talk? Oh, all right, I think I will. Sally Brown Pulaski, 2 Main Street, Hickory. I talked lengthy with George about a week ago. Uh, my concerns are the appearance of the town. You drive through Hickory, you see weeds growing along the curb by the roads where the cement rolls up. You drive down through blighted properties. I drove around the township and the surrounding communities. I went to Midway. I went to McDonald. I went to Primrose. I went to Abella. None of those communities have the weed problem that we have in Hickory. None of them. And I'm ashamed that our community looks that way. Because Hickory never looked that way when I was growing up. Our family has lived here since the 1790s. I've lived in Hickory area my whole life. Never seen it look this way. Um, I understand that there are limitations. I understand we have not had a zoning officer for a while. And I understand a lot of those problems are going to be resolved shortly, or maybe call me, um, <laughs> talking to George. But I also understand there's some limitations. Now, the ordinance for the length of grass in the yard is 12 inches, and then it has to be attended to. The surrounding communities are 4 inches. Cannonsburg is 4 inches. Mount Lebanon is 6 inches. I think it's time that Hickory uh, perhaps legislate people to care about their property and change that height requirement to 4 or maybe 6 inches at the most. I also noticed that in some places, the grass is dead or maybe even cut. And there are milkweed growing along the sidewalks. They're four and five feet high. That's just not acceptable. And surprisingly enough, I drove past the fire hall. You see that beautiful statue that Frank Knapp was so instrumental in getting there, and that beautiful planner and the landscaping. It's kind of a metaphor. You look behind the farmer, who is a symbol of the beginning of our community, and you see weeds that are 68 inches high in the fireman's planter. Now, that's unacceptable. The fire department is one of the crown jewels of our community. That needs to be attended to, too. So if you could address some of these things, and with George's help, I'd like to see that. I, I'm sure I would not have any problem getting citizens to sign a petition for that. All you have to do is knock on somebody's door and cut their grass. A lot of people are disturbed. I've talked to some of my neighbors. I'm not the only one. And I'm sure you've noticed it too, Gary. Well, the Lions Club used to take care of the planter, and then it's like a lot of organizations. Everybody's getting older, and they can't do it anymore. Well, I'll tell you what, I've been really tempted to stop myself <laughs> with the weed eater. I'll tell you what, if you want to, feel free to. Oh. <laughs> I got plenty on my own property. I have at least a quarter of a mile of frontage to maintain, at least. Uh, and and uh, probably everybody is so busy right now. George? Mm. I did talk to her. Um, and uh, I'm going to tell her why she's sitting here. One of the problems I have right at the moment to write out a citation or anything, I have to have a registered number. The registered number that was here expired. So me and the chief are working with the state police to get me a number. Okay. And that requires paperwork, it requires getting fingerprinted, background checked. It's going to probably take, what, chief, two more weeks? Yeah, probably about that. Okay. Um, I can wait. They also have to do an audit. They have to, once yeah. they have it, they have to do an audit perform, so. But, and, I, and I'm not being ignorant. I figure three days a week there wasn't much business in this little point. Uh, there's quite a lot that 
One, I had to have time to learn. Two, I had to get past things caught up. Uh, I've been all over the township. Yeah. There is some real disgusting homes. Boy, aren't there? Uh, aren't there? But you give me at least another three weeks, I get my number. I'll write letters to people to the citation is the last thing I want to do. Yeah. So what uh, what kind of enforcement powers do you have for this? I'm like a cop. Oh, he really? does vehicle. I'm not allowed. Oh, okay. Right? Yeah. No. He, he does okay. Say together. you say you write somebody. Property management cop. What happens? <laughs> what happens, <laughs> happens <laughs> if you write somebody up and they don't comply or they don't? You're under the magistrate. Well, yeah. what happens? Okay. And, what was, and actually, we sat down a couple weeks ago and actually put together, developed some new forms that are updated uh -huh. for him to use here that uh -huh. he's well versed with as well. Uh -huh. Under these codes, the property maintenance code, or if it's a zoning violation, in a way, it's kind of in all fairness to give somebody a shot before you are their oh, dirty sure, laundry, sure. so to speak. It's Fire built into the system the yeah. that you kind of send them a letter. It's called yeah. an NOV notice of violation, and that's not kind of public as to them. Hey, bud, yeah, I think personally. you know, dear, yeah. you know, sir, we think you have this violation. If you disagree, you can appeal. If not, please, you know, okay. comply in X Y Z day. Okay. You have to give him that shot, and then when that expires, then he can take them to the to the magistrate. Now we did, people will play games with the weed and the grass and we've updated the form so that like a lot of people, they make play cat and mouse, make you a note, make you a letter, then make you a site and then let it grow again. The, the letters he has now, you don't have to do that one time a good, year because the, the code says cut and maintain. Okay, good. So if you, if once problems. you feel, if, so if you send it, you cut, you got to maintain. If you go let it go off, you know, again, he doesn't have to go back and start from, from the beginning mm -hmm. on that. I, I will tell you, a lot of places, four, I've never actually heard of four. That's a pretty low number. A lot of people cut their grass down to four. More common, you see six, eight inches before you get to kind of enforcement yeah. on folks. Uh -huh. um, and I know I will say just historically that the, there was a balancing here when they, and Mr. Temple can speak this here at the time, when the, when the ordinance was considered here, there were some folks under kind of the less regulation did not want any ordinance at all. So there was some balancing and compromising in actually yeah. instituting the, the actual ordinance yeah. that... Yeah, well, 12 inches to me isn't a lawn. That's a hayfield. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I mean, I, I, can under, I, I can compromise with six. Okay, I, I really do think that is reasonable. Four, it looks great. But, you know, if you, if you, you, know, if you have an illness well, or you're elderly or whatever... I would imagine 80% of the people are going to comply. Yes. But I'll give you an example. I have a home, two foot high grass, faulty septic system. They went to court. The three people stood in court and said, that man died, and so did his wife. So they threw the case out of court two weeks ago. But guess what? The three people in there, they own the property. <laughs> so we got to play, uh, uh, you know, they're playing uh, games. Playing games. Yeah. And the one lady that's on there that said she died was actually standing there in court. <laughs> so you always get that oh, well. <laughs> uh, problem people to take up a lot more time. I want to play the system and get away with something. Yeah, well, next time when you go back to see that judge, he got some questions for yeah. those three. Yeah, that's, uh, All right, anybody else? Board have anything to discuss? Just a motion to adjourn.